this John, last class we explained, what is blockchain? Now in this class we are going to explain how blockchain works in plain English. A blockchain is a group of records that are very hard to change, and that are protected by cryptography. Now, let's look at the Bitcoin transaction between you and your friends to see how it works. There are two keys for everyone in the Bitcoin network. One is called a public key, and the other is called a private key. You can think of the public key as a user's email address in the network. When you use a private key, you get a unique address that only you know. This is like a password that only you know. Your friend first sends you the number of bitcoins he wants to send you, as well as their unique wallet address, through a hashing algorithm. All of this is part of the deal's terms. Encryption algorithms and your friend's unique private key are used to hide these details. This is done to sign the transaction and show that the money came from your friends. This output is now being sent around the world using your friend's public key. This means that only your friend can decrypt the message or transaction with their private key, which only your friend knows. Different cryptocurrencies use different hashing algorithms. Bitcoin uses the SHIZ-256 algorithm, and Ethereum, which is also a popular cryptocurrency, uses one called a hash. These transactions are checked and then added to the database block by block, until they are all in there together. To add a block to the blockchain, miners need to solve a complicated math problem. These people are called miners. The person who solves this first adds the block to the blockchain and gets 12.5 bitcoins back. In math, proof of work is when you solve a complicated problem. When you add a block to the blockchain, you do it by calling it mining. As we look at Walmart's use of blockchain, we can see how it helps them give better service to their customers. Walmart was having problems and giving its customers good products. They had a high return rate and a lot of refunds because their products didn't work well or were cheap. They couldn't figure out where the supply chain broke down. It went from the farm to storage, to transportation, to processing, and the customer. Then Walmart began using the technology called blockchain. The quality of the goods at each step was written into a block. When a customer tells Walmart that a product has been damaged, Walmart can figure out where the product got damaged in the whole supply chain, which helps Walmart figure out where the problems are and fix them. There are many ways blockchain is used in real-world applications, but this is just one of them. No, I can't think of any more. What do you think? Tell us what you think in the comments below. It was great to see you. Keep coming back for more.